kind of weird, but but a large percent of of Russian women nowadays are like that, and so that's why they join those agencies to get gullible men to to come and and, and just spend all their money and and, and waste it all and, and whatever, and um, they're just looking for money and gifts, and um, and the sad thing is. It, if they're not attracted to that guy that's spending all this money on them, they won't even sleep with him. I mean, for a Russian woman to sleep with you, I mean, she's got to, you know, find you at least semi-attractive. I, I mean, if, if you're not her type, she's just going to make try to make you spend money on her while not even sleeping with you and making excuses to avoid intimacy. And, and that's just really cold and shameless. But unfortunately, there's a lot of women there that are like that. Um, so, um, as far as the, the per percentage of Russian of women on the Russian bride agencies that are dishonest, I mean, I, it's hard to put an exact percentage on, on it. But but I just say a very large percentage of them are um, gold diggers and users, and um, possibly even more than half. You know, so it's a very large percentage, and and it's really, I mean, there are genuine women on there. It's just really hard to find them. I mean, the odds are are are, are not exactly st stacked in your favor. A lot of Russian bride seekers end up going through a lot of scamming scamming women before they find the right one, and so so it's not it's not in the, as easy as it used to be. If you had done the Russian bride route back in 1995, for example, you would have had a, a, a absolute cake blast. I mean, it would have been a dream come true. I mean, there, there were so many fine, decent Russian women that, that with good intentions that, that were looking back then. But um, ever since 2002, the, the scammers have, have just shot up. I mean, I mean, so it, it's, um, so it's possible to meet a nice, sincere Russian lady through those bride agencies, but um, the odds just are not on your side anymore. Um, there is a guy um, that I've recommended on my site. Um, his name is Ed, and, and uh, he runs a, a, a layman's matchmaking, agents, a matchmaking service where he finds genuine, real, sincere Russian women for you. Um, by 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 local means, by advertising on Russian newspapers and stuff like that, or Russian websites, and um, um, and you can find his his banner and his link in, in my dating sites page. His I think his website is get Russian wife or something like that. dot com, but you'll you'll see that link on my website, and his name is Ed. Um, but yeah, I mean, I mean, it's, the best thing to do is just go to Russia and um, and, and network and try to, to 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 get a feel for 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 the women there. And um, usually, you you'll have a better chance in the small towns or the or the villages of finding an, an honest, decent Russian girl with values. Well, I mean, in the big city, it's getting harder and harder, but it's still possible. I mean, there's a lot of you know, single girls everywhere in Russia, and, um, um, it, of course, it also depends on how you look and whether they like you, too. I mean, generally, they like bigger guys that look sexy and, and, and you know, are, I mean, um, but, yeah, that's, there's a lot of obstacles if you go that route. So, Good luck to you if you do, and um, feel free to ask me any more questions. Okay, so let's take our last question. And this is from Truth For You 97. And he writes, Hi, I want to know which country is easiest to get a visa to stay long term, or will keep extending three month visas on a USA passport. You've lived in the Philippines. Is this an easy country to get long-term visas and citizenship if I marry a Filipino girl? Also, is there any chance of finding work that pays enough to live on in the Philippines for unskilled English-speaking guys? I guess it's impossible. 
Um, I don't know the visa regulations of every country, but I mean, I mean, every country is different. I mean, I mean, with, with if you have a U.S. passport, you're in luck because most countries make it easy for you to get in and, and extend your visa. Um, there are some countries that where you have to leave the country and then come back every few months or so, but. Um, so you have you have to look up each country individually, but I wouldn't, you know, make a decision about where to go based on that reason. I mean, you gotta pick the right country for you. That's the most important reason, or, or the right country that fits your needs and and, and your personality. Um, and then from there, you look at the visa situation. So so I would focus on that first. Um, in the Philippines, yeah, you can if you marry a Filipina, you can get a permanent. Um, residency visa. I don't know about citizenship though, but um, you don't really need citizenship there. I mean, a permanent resident visa is, is will allow you to stay there permanently. So, um, but yeah, if you get do get married, you can get that. Um, you just have to fill out some paperwork and pay some fees here and there. Um, and as far as your last question. Uh, Oh, about finding work in the Philippines. Uh, yeah, there are jobs in the Philippines, um, but they're mo they're mostly for Filipinos, and and they don't usually hire foreigners. And if they they do, the pay is going to be very little. The best thing to do would be to find an American company that that um, will recruit you and station you in the Philippines, and and give you a, a pretty good salary. I mean, that would be the ideal situation if you can find it. Um, but what a lot of expats do there is, is I mean, they either start a business using their, their savings and, and retirement pensions, um, they, they start some kind of business, or they just um, retire on their pension and live without working. I, I mean, but, but that's if you have money to invest. You, I mean, if you have capital to start a business, I mean, not not everyone that has that kind of capital, um, or um, some guys also do freelance work on online, like they go through websites like getafreelancer.com or elance.com, and you can do some freelance work online, and then they pay you for doing work on on your computer just like a contractor, and um, and you can do that from anywhere in any country so and you don't even have to invest you know you don't have to invest any money into into a business to do that so that's another ideal situation um, is to look into getting some freelance work on the internet that pays and I've actually heard of a guy that does that in the Philippines and, and he makes you know pretty good money at it um, and he came to the Philippines with like only a few hundred dollars so that's pretty amazing that he, he was able to survive and, and, and get work online in spite of coming with so little money. Um, so, so that's another possibility you want to look into. Um, um, so just, you know, keep searching for information, keep asking questions and, and, and you know, find something that works for you. Okay, so I'm out of here and uh, Thank you for, for your interest and for listening, and uh, talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.